Happy Sunday, guys. I hope you're all doing well. So, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know that I like Hollywood, history, and pop culture. And today we're going to do something that covers all three. Now, usually I narrate my videos and don't really show my face, but today I'm going to do something just a little bit different, and I'm going to do this daily vlog style and show you guys some of the things that I do on a regular basis. Sometimes I get to do some pretty cool things, and today is no exception. I'm going to show you a few uh, interesting things in just a bit, and then we are going to go see the man, the legend, Chubby Checker today. Now this is one of the neighborhoods here in St. Charles, and take a look at this house. Houses in here are just absolutely enormous. But we're going to go and check out, or at least drive by, a house that was owned not too awful long by Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Now it's this house right here. This house used to belong to Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Pretty nice place. That's not a bad looking place either. Or this. What a dump. All right, guys, we just got to the theater. I'm gonna walk in the back and see what we see. There's a Sprinter van, which usually they give uh, the artists a ride either to the hotel or to go and get food. But it looks like he's here. This is the bus for Chubby Checker. This thing looks old. Is it possible this could be the same bus that he drove around in the 60s? Now, if you don't know Chubby Checker, he was the one that performed the hit The Twist, released in 1960, and today he is here. Now, I do have a meet and greet with Chubby Checker today at 2 p.m. I'll show you what I can of it, but a lot of times they do not allow your personal cameras backstage, but I'll see what I can do. This is the front of the beautiful and historic Arcada Theater in St. Charles, Illinois. There it is. Now you gotta love these older historic theaters. Now this theater has been around since the 1920s. It does have prohibition tunnels underneath it. Um, and this place has, pretty much everybody has performed here. Judy Garland has performed here. Um, I mean, you name it. This, this place has been around a long time, and they still have almost 300 shows a year. But they get a lot of people. They had uh, Jerry Lewis not long before he passed. Um, pretty much anybody you could think of. They, a lot of rock bands, uh, popular bands that have been around since, you know, the 60s, 70s. Uh, like today, Chubby Checker, but this is a pretty cool place, and I will show you the inside as soon as we can get in. And now it's time for lunch. I'm going with breakfast. Irish corned beef hash and eggs. Mm -mm. Now inside the theater today they have an exhibit that show a hundred photos of people, various people that have performed here at this theater. Everybody from Ted Nugent to Kevin Costner to Brett Michaels, um, members of the Eagles, pretty much anybody that you can think of has been here at some point or another. But this is a new part of the theater here. It's just a just a beautiful place to come and visit and take in a show. And this will at some point be the home of a new restaurant. Now it's just about time for the meet and greet, so let's head into the auditorium. Now there's no fans in here yet, but the band management asked me to come down this uh, right-hand 
area here and just wait by the back door here and they'll let me down when uh, Chubby's ready. Another look at the theater. This is a beautiful place. I just can't stress that enough. And here's the door that will lead us downstairs into the dressing room. Here we go, guys. Sorry for the view. Waiting outside of the green room. All right, I just got back up from meeting Chubby Checker in his dressing room. Uh, absolutely fantastic guy. I can post a picture later if you guys want to see, but they did not want video inside, obviously, so I did the respectful thing and did not video it. Now it's showtime. I'll let you see the intro and then I will definitely get the twist. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please make welcome the man with the number one selling hit of all time? With such hits as The Limbo, The Fly, The Hucklebug, Slow Twisting, and of course, Twist Again, the king of the twist, Chubby Checker!
One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>